Hey guys, this is iMaster, and today I'm going to be telling you how to make really cool banners to go great with your iWeb site, or any other site for that matter. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is you need to make the shape that you want to put the banner in. I've made my shape, I use the rounded square tool, and then we have to find the width and height of it. To do that, we select it, and then click on one of the handlebars. As you can see, my width is 650, and my height is 156. So then we can go into GIMP. You do File, New, and you get a Create New Image Box. So then we type in our numbers. 650 by 156. Okay. Now we have the basic size of our banner. Then we select our paint bucket and pick our background color. This can be any color you want. But for, for the tutorial, I'll be using this gray. Then we fill in our box. Next, we make a new layer. We can call this graphic. And make sure it's a transparency. Transparency. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to click filters, render, nature, flame. You can experiment with these other ones, but I think the flame looks the best. So we get an, a window that looks like this. First thing you want to do is you want to reduce the gamma to make a clearer lightning bolt, or flame, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to increase the brightness to about 3. And then we click Edit to choose which lightning we want to use. You can experiment with the variation. I like the power lightning bolts. And you just keep clicking until you find one you like. I like that one. So I'm going to click OK. Then we can edit our camera settings. I like to have my words on one side. So I'm going to move this one all the way over to the left. Then once we have it just like we want it, we can click OK. Next, we're going to add color to it. So we go to colors, color balance, and make it whatever we, color we want. I'm going to make mine yellow. I like to do this on all three shadows, midtones, and highlights, but it's completely opinion. Keep preserve luminosity check. It gives you that nice white core. Um, I think that looks cool. You may not. Okay, then we click OK. Then we can merge these down. Next, to add our text, we go to the text tool and pick a good font. I like to use a nice clear one, such as Arial Empty Bold. It's the one I usually use. Find it. Here it is, Arial Rounded Empty Bold. Change our color to white so that we can see what we're doing. And then start typing. Let's call this one um, Banner. Then we increase the size. When I increase it, I usually put it at about 80. Next, we duplicate this layer three times so that we have a total of four. And on the topmost one, we make that one the same color as our background. Then we come down to the second from the top and go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we make sure it's 5, RLE, click OK. Then we repeat the process, doubling it, doubling it each time. So this one would be 10. And this one would be 20. Once we have it like how we like it, uh, we can merge them all down. 
and be sure that if it's not in the exact spot that you want it, that you merge it down, that you move it after you've merged it down, or else it'll just move one layer. So, I'm going to move this one like that. Didn't do it. See, what I did with, accidentally was I created a new text box. It's an example of what you don't want to do. So I'm just going to leave it how it is. But if you move it, just be sure to select the, um, the, the words and not create a new text box. So then we can merge it down. Then we can go to File, Save. Once there, we type in the name we want. I'm going to call this one Banner1.jpg. We are saving it as a JPEG so that it automatically um, compresses a little bit and iWeb can open. And save it somewhere that you can remember. I'm going to put mine in... Um, just leave it here. Export. I like to bring my quality all the way up and then save. Then in iWeb, you could insert, choose, go to where you wherever you put it, and find it, and then insert. It's a lot smaller than we expected it to be, but that's okay. We just make it to fill up the size of our shape. Open our inspector. Go to the shapes palette and take off the stroke and make it so that no corners are showing. Okay, that looks good. Then we select our background shape. We select the color fill and then here we just kind of adjust the shade until it matches our banner. And then we have it, a really cool iWeb banner. Looks like you did it in Photoshop, but you did it with a free program called GIMP. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.